So we're gonna add action listener to each these items. So to do that, we need to implement action listener to this class, or we can make a separate class to handle this action listener thing. And uh, I think this time we're gonna create a separate class. Mm. So inside of this main package, let's create another class. Yeah, I'm gonna name this as uh, action handler or something. Uh, we're gonna implement action listener and import and also let's add an unimplemented method action performed and uh, so let's make let's create a constructor of this action handler and uh, let's receive game manager so game manager gm this dot gm call gm and uh, let's go to this game manager class and uh, yeah and i think before this ui because we need to instantiate this action handler before this ui Otherwise, we cannot add this action listener to this UI. So, action handler, a handler, call new action handler, and this. So, go back to this UI class, and uh, okay. So, to this menu item class, menu item from that at action listener and uh, here type like this gm dot a handler and the menu item set action command and action command let's for now okay so let's copy this and add this two and uh, three and two two three three and okay so for these action commands we need to receive more strings so this method receives a lot of things and the first uh, what is it? Choice one action command basically. So command choice two command string choice three command. Okay, and we're gonna use this here and here and here and so again we want we need to send action command from here so this is hot um, so first action command is like a look hot and uh no 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 talk and uh, rest hot or something and for this one look guard and uh, talk guard and uh, attack guard and uh, look chest talk chest chest okay so now error disappears so every time you create an object you know it receives different uh, menu items and the action commands so uh, go to this action handler class and uh, 
inside of this action performed method uh, first let's receive action command string uh, your choice call e dot get action command and uh, let's make switch tree using this your choice and uh, okay case first uh, what is it look hot let me type first uh, look hot and uh, talk hot I think list hot hmm. so let's display some text uh, so we're gonna use this this one message text in the UI class so uh, first gm dot UI dot message text dot set text and something car this is your house and uh, okay for now so let's check this uh, everything is okay I feel like I'm forgetting something but let's yeah let's check it okay and uh, let's choose this look Ah, okay it's working and so let's copy and talk hot who are you talking to and the rest is so yeah so you rest at the house line break your life has recovered something and but you know yeah so we can continue like this but uh, again I want to handle this kind of uh, action event in a different class because maybe it's okay if it's just showing some text but uh, depending on the situation maybe you want to add more like a if statement or uh, getting item or handling like a inventory stuff or stuff like that so i think it would be better you know to handle handling these events in a separated class so let's do that i think i want to create it in another package uh, so let me create package first so package and uh, name this event event package and inside of this event package uh, let's create a class and I'm gonna name this uh, event 01 and again constructor get this game manager and <coughs> import And create a method first what is it look hot I think and also talk hot list hot okay and let's move this to this okay let's go to this game manager class and uh, uh, public uh, event 01 ev1 equal new event 01 and uh, pass this game manager class and import and uh, okay also uh, let's change this UI public 
because this event 01 class is in you know in a different package so we need to set this public otherwise uh, it cannot access and then uh, okay then finally so from here we're gonna call those methods so gm dot db1 dot uh, cut gm dot db1 dot talk wait one talk cut why uh, rest Okay, I think let's check it. Uh, yeah, same result. Hmm. So what we are doing is uh, basically the same, but uh, since we handled it in a separated class, so if we want to add something more, then uh, I think this is easier. Uh, okay, so let's add everything, I think. So, look guard, talk guard, attack guard. And look chest, talk chest, open chest. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. Look guard. Without a weapon and uh, line break, uh, you should check the chest over there. God, hey, don't be stupid. And uh, we want to change the player life here, but uh. Yeah, let's do it later because we haven't created anything for the player character. A chest is on the ground. You talk to the chest, but it says nothing. You open the chest and find a sword, but again, we cannot handle this item stuff yet. Okay, and so finally let's add this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Look, guard, talk, guard, talk, guard, look, chest, talk, chest, open, chest. And uh, let's copy this action command to this method. Uh, okay, I think. Let's check it. Hmm. Uh, look, talk. Okay, and uh, look, chest is on the ground. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Okay, then what should we do next? Maybe, maybe switching to the next screen. Hmm. 